Have you ever wondered how volcanoes work? Well, let's start at the beginning. Volcanoes are incredible formations that exist both on land and under the sea. But what exactly are they? Imagine a gigantic mound with an opening at the top. This opening is like a window into the very heart of our planet. You see, deep beneath the Earth's surface, there's a scorching hot mix of molten rock, debris, and gases. This fiery concoction is called magma. Every now and then, the magma builds up enough pressure to burst forth from the Earth's surface, creating what we know as a volcanic eruption. This eruption can be a gentle oozing of lava, or it can be a spectacular explosion, shooting debris and gases high into the sky. Volcanoes are truly fascinating natural wonders, each with its own unique character and behavior. Now that you know what a volcano is, let's dive into how they work. Ever imagined what happens inside a volcano when it erupts? It's a fascinating process, and today, we're going to delve into the fiery heart of these mighty natural wonders. Picture our Earth as a giant pressure cooker. Beneath the Earth's crust, there's a hot, swirling mix of molten rock and gases called magma. This magma is under tremendous pressure. When two tectonic plates, huge pieces of the Earth's crust, move and collide, they can create cracks or vents. The magma seizes this opportunity to escape, and voila, we have a volcanic eruption. Now, not all volcanoes are created equal. There are three main types, shield, cinder cone, and composite or stratovolcanoes. Shield volcanoes, like those in Hawaii, are broad and flat. They're formed by magma with low viscosity, meaning it flows easily. When a shield volcano erupts, the magma spreads out in all directions, creating a shield-like shape. Cinder cone volcanoes are the runts of the volcanic litter. They're the smallest type and are formed from explosive eruptions that throw small pieces of magma into the air. These pieces, called cinders, fall back to Earth around the vent, forming a circular or oval cone. Finally, we have the composite volcanoes. These are the big guys, the mountains of the volcanic world. They're formed from alternating layers of lava flows and exploded rock, which gives them their tall, cone-like shape. These volcanoes can cause the most damage when they erupt due to their size and the explosive power of their eruptions. So, the next time you see images of a volcanic eruption, remember that it's not just a show of nature's fury. It's the Earth's way of letting off steam, quite literally. The magma has to go somewhere, and sometimes that somewhere is up and out, in a spectacular display of power and beauty. So, an eruption is a dramatic way for the Earth to release all that pent-up energy. Did you know that volcanoes can change life on Earth? Yes, indeed, these fiery mountains are not just creators, but also destroyers. When they erupt, they can spew out immense amounts of ash and gases that can have huge impacts on our planet. And when I say huge, I mean dinosaur extinction level huge. Now let's journey back to about 65 million years ago. Picture this, a colossal volcano erupts, spewing ash and gases into the atmosphere. The sky darkens, temperatures drop, and plants struggle to survive without sunlight. This triggers a domino effect. The herbivores, the plant eaters, struggle to find food. And the carnivores, the meat eaters, well, they run out of herbivores to eat. So, you see, while volcanoes are fascinating and essential in shaping our planet, they also have the power to cause mass extinctions. Volcanoes, while fascinating, can have a profound impact on our planet's life forms. Volcanoes are truly amazing, aren't they? They're not just mountains spewing out smoke and lava. They're a key part of Earth's system, helping to shape our planet's surface and atmosphere. We've learned today that volcanoes are formed when there's a rupture in the Earth's crust, allowing hot molten rock to escape from beneath the surface. This process can be slow and gradual or swift and explosive. And remember, volcanoes aren't just creators, they're also destroyers. We've discussed how they've been responsible for some of the major extinctions on our planet, wiping out countless species in their fiery wrath. But don't let that scare you. Volcanoes are also fascinating subjects for study. They can teach us so much about the Earth, its history, and even its future. So don't stop here. Continue to learn, continue to explore, and continue to be amazed by our wonderful planet. Remember, each volcano holds a fiery tale of Earth's inner workings. Keep exploring, and you'll uncover many more exciting stories. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Kids TV for more fun and educational videos.